Welcome to The Soft Life with me, Candy Washington, where we explore all things self-love, manifestations, and relationships with a cheeky dash of pop culture news. So be sure to subscribe, share, and join us on Patreon. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. As always, I'm your girl, Candy Washington. I'm also the host of The Soft Life podcast, but today we are going to be covering all things Vanderpump Rules, watching the season finale trailer, exposing more lies, and just getting into it, okay? So this is according to page six. We'll go through the article, and then we will watch the trailer together, okay? Let's go. It says Raquel Levis laughs at a fair going, quote, so horribly wrong in Pump Rules preview. Rachel can't help but giggle over her sordid affair with Tom Sandoval in a preview for the upcoming Vanderpump Rules season 10 finale. See, this is why I always say she is like Boiling Bunnies, Fatal Attraction, Cuckoo for Poco Puffs. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's laughing. She's not having a normal human reaction to what is going on, if that makes sense. Like, she's real cray-cray, cray-cray. It's not a normal reaction. Like, the not having empathy, the not understanding context, the not remorse. Like, even if you're like, yeah, whatever, I'm with Tom Sandoval I like him. We're dipping it. We're doing it. Whatever, Ariana. I th- I still think a normal person has some level of compassion and empathy and understanding. Like you're not laughing and you're not giggling and you're not just being so weird. Like there's a chip missing in her head. There's something really missing. And I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. I mean that in like a serious, legit way. But let's keep going. We'll get to the article and then we're going to watch the trailer together. All right. She says, it turned out so horribly wrong. The former pageant queen 28 says with a laugh while discussing the situation with 40 year old Sandoval. Side note, when we watch the um, trailer together, you're going to see that Sandoval actually, I think, as pathetic as he is, as narcissistic, as egotistical he is, I think he's still having more of a kind of garbage person but a human response to it he does have a little bit of of not necessarily remorse but more of a emotional understanding that he's a piece of crap if that makes sense so so we'll keep so let's keep going and then we'll watch all right now It's the only glimpse of Raquel in the sneak peek while Sandoval is heavily featured. I was going to break up with Ariana regardless, he tells co-star Sheena Shea at the start of the clip. But you didn't, the good as gold singer 37 clapbacks. You effed her best friend instead. Now, can we do a standing ovation for Sheena Shea for finally getting a brain? You know, (laughs) like for finally getting half of a brain cell. Thank you for waking up and showing up Sheena Shea. Finally, she gets it. You know, last episode, she's like, I would trust Brock and, you know, Raquel in the same bed together. She's amazing. They're just trying to make her look bad, blah, 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 blah. Hello, ding dong. Somebody's finally home, Sheena. Anyway, let's keep going. Oh, and that's why Sheena was up on Watch What Happens Live all of a sudden being like, I trust Brock, but I had to ask the question. And like, you know, I had to see, I asked him if, if she ever tried anything and he said, no, he didn't get off the vibe and blah, 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 blah. Sheena girl. We're going to get more to Sheena in a later story. We'll get, we're going to get more to her, but let's keep going. Sandoval also attempts to justify his secret romance with Raquel by telling his BFF and business partner, Tom Schwartz, another ding dong. I felt something I haven't felt in a very long time. And what's the point, Tom? What's the point? Just like, you know, ding dong brain cell, Sheena Shea said, you br- if you are not happy, you break up. That's it. Point blank period. It's not, I was going to break up. I wasn't happy. Like all of the excuses, like Ariana didn't want kids and she was emotionally unavailable. Miss me with all that. 
just like when Tom Sandoval had his little temper tantrum after the beach, when they were, when he was going after Katie and Lala, just like he said, his little, you know, mantra card or whatever, date someone for who they are, not for the potential of who you want them to be. Take your own advice. Let's keep going. And in a separate conversation with his aggrieved ex-girlfriend, Ariana, Sandoval admits that he and Levis became like really good friends. I don't have affairs with my really good friends. I don't have sex with my really good friends. You're using that as an excuse. But Maddox 37, who dumped Sandoval in March after discovering his infidelity, wasn't having it. You don't, I don't give an F about effing Raquel, she exclaims in apparent frustration. Your friendship is effing BS. I mean, this is the thing. Ariana, I feel bad for you, but at the same time, girl, you should know, weren't you Tom's just really good friend, really best friend when he was with Kristen and you and him were having sex? People are like, they just kissed. Yeah, right. Like anybody who says Ariana and Tom Sandoval only kissed, while they were cheating, like they weren't in sixth grade. You know, like they definitely smashed. Like we're not stupid. We're not idiots here. And we all know Tom Sandoval is a liar. He will lie straight to your face. And we all know the girls who are drinking his Kool-Aid will lie for him. They definitely smashed. Like we're not stupid. We're grown. Okay. Let's keep going. Sandoval then defends his connection with Raquel. No, it's not, he shouts back, to which Maddox tells Ian Lauer, yes, it is. The buying back my daughter actress then adds, I regret ever loving you. Good job, Ariana. Elsewhere, Lala Kent implies that Sandoval has been creeping around long before his dalliance with Levis. There was one other time the cover band singer confesses at one point, copping to even more unfaithful behavior. Boy, there was one other time. Stop lying. You were with Ariana for nine years. How long have you been cheating on Ariana? I'll wait. Nine years. Let's not forget the fact that the moment he officially got with Ariana, Miami girl popped on the scene. So this is the thing. If you start your relationship by being the side chick, and then once you actually get him, there's already a girl that he's creeping on you with, that is a big indication that the rest of your relationship, you're going to be cheated on. Because you had no problem busting it open for him when he was in a relationship with somebody else. And you decided to pretend like Miami girl was just mystically, magically lying about sleeping with Sandoval. Like, no, she wasn't lying. She didn't fly from Miami to LA because she was lying. You cheated. Jax Taylor even said it. So how long has Sandoval been cheating? Probably his whole life. All nine years. That's the way you started the relationship. One other time? Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. Anyway, and that's no shade to Ariana. I, I still don't think anyone deserves that. You know, no one deserves to be treated the way she was treated. You know, so I want to make that very clear. But I am going to call out all of the stuff. I'm going to call out all of the stuff. But even though I'm calling it out, I still have compassion for her and she did not deserve it. Okay, let's keep going. Though she doesn't appear on camera again, Raquel's voice is heard during a phone call with ex-fiance James Kennedy, during which she promises the DJ, 31, that she and Sandoval are, quote, not an item, despite the optics. Girl, see, she lying. Later, Lisa Vanderpump consoles an emotional Maddox in a time of distress. You don't deserve any of this, the, rest the restauranteur says. By the end of the preview, Vanderpump Rules alum Kristen Doty is seen making her highly anticipated return. You ready? She asked Maddox while mischiefully twiddling her fingers. Shout out to Kristen Doty. I feel like she's really evolved and she's really matured. And she also just booked, um, I think it's like reality stars, greatest of all time with like Reza and Jill Zarin. So shout out to her. You know, she's working again. I know what she did to Faith. I'm not saying that was right or wrong. Um, I'm not going to touch that right now. We're keeping things light and love. <laughs> but shout out to, to Kristen. I'm proud of her. All right, here we go. The finale clip comes just hours after Raquel claimed her Instagram was, quote, hacked. We will get into that story. So I'm going to keep it going with this one. Okay. Now, let's see here. 
Let's watch. You guys ready? Let's watch. Here we go. On the season finale of Vanderpump Rules. I was going to break up with Ariana regardless. But you didn't. You f***ed your boss friend instead. I sacrificed everything. Now my world just got turned upside down. I felt something I hadn't felt in a very long time. Jesus Christ, man. Me and Raquel became like really good friends. I don't give a f*** about f***ing Raquel! Your friendship is f***ing bull****. No, it's not! Yes, it is! You know everything! You think this is the first time he's been creeping around? It was one other time. Come on! How long have you known? Tom told me this a month ago. Are you and Sandoval an item now, Raquel? No. I regret ever loving you. You don't deserve any of this. It turned out so horribly wrong. You ready? Spicy, spicy, spicy. Oh, but I want to know what you guys think. Put it down below in the chat box because I'm going to take all of your candy cane questions and comments after we, we wrap up a couple more stories about Vanderpump Rules. But I'm excited. I'm pumped. I'm looking forward to it. I didn't realize how fast the season went. Like, we're literally about to be on the finale and then we'll get the reunion and stuff. So it went really fast. But put down your thoughts down below. I think it's going to be good. Also, if you missed um, the video I did yesterday, uh, break uh, breaking down the inserts, and by inserts I mean you know the 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 scenes where Lala was explaining about how oh you know Ken and an L and, L and LVP found out that Raquel had slept over Tom Sandoval's with shorts and blah 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 and it just seemed really really scripted when Ken comes into the kitchen and he's like did you guys know that Raquel slept over and blah 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 that now explains why they rushed it because I didn't realize how fast the season had gone. I didn't realize that we were on the finale. So they had to rush that storyline in order to get here. And by here, I mean the finale episode where everything is coming to a head, where everything is being exposed, right? So that, again, I still think they did it in a sloppy way because the work was showing, but now it makes sense they had to basically rush the time. Anyway, Put it down below. Let me know what you guys think. And with that, let's move on to our 